Hi, my name is Bridget Dumont, and I am the head of research and instruction here at the Mount St. Joseph University Library. And today I'm going to be going over our library website as well as our library resources today. So let me start to share my screen. Okay. So this is the library website, which you can access at library.msj.edu. So I'm going to direct you to the right hand side of the page where we have our hours. Underneath is login. This is to log in to your library account. Logging into your library account will show you what books you have checked out, when their due dates are. You can also renew from your library account. And if you have an Ohio Link book that you've ordered or requested, you can see where it is in the transit process from your library account. We also have off campus database access. You're gonna use this if you are doing database research anywhere off the MSJ campus, so at home. So if you click on that, it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do an off-campus database access. But basically all you need is your last name as well as your library or all card number. That is the 14 digit number at the bottom of your MSJ ID with all of the zeros. If you don't have an MSJ ID, or you've lost it, or you've forgotten your number, that's okay. We can still find your library ID number. So again, under login, you're gonna hit look up your library ID number. It's gonna prompt you to log into MyMount. And then once you log into MyMount, your library ID number will be displayed right here. So fear not if you have lost your MSJ all card, or if you simply just can't remember your number, you can still retrieve it right here. Okay, under that is get research help. Ask a librarian is our chat feature. So if you wanna chat with a librarian, we also have research appointments. If you click on that, it'll show you the librarians who are available for a research appointment. So I'm just gonna choose myself. And then you can see the dates and times that I'm available for an appointment. We can meet in person for an appointment via Zoom, through email, over the phone, through chat, whatever your personal preference is to meet, um, we are okay with that. And then of course, under contact us, you can always call us or email us if you ever have a question. Okay, so now I'm gonna direct you to research help. And over here on the left, subject guides. Our subject guides are in alpha order. So I'm gonna scroll down to nursing. And here is your nursing subject guide. So it's gonna give you major databases, nursing books, so through the FOCUS catalog, the Ohio Link catalog, as well as Access Medicine. We also have evidence-based practice. So these are, are our evidence-based practice databases, which is CINAHL, Cochrane, Medline, as well as health statistics for Cincinnati and Hamilton County, the state of Ohio, the United States, plus nursing websites. So this is just a nice resource to get you started with um, your academic research. Also under research help, we have citing your sources, APA. So here's our APA manual, their website, using APA format through the Purdue OWL Writing Lab, which I find to be very helpful. And then we also have citation tools and software such as Mendeley and Zotero, if you like to use either of those citation platforms. Okay, back up at the top, I'm gonna click on books and media. And this is our Focus MSJ library catalog, as well as our Ohio Link library catalog. 
These are our two main catalogs for books, ebooks, movies. So I'm going to start with our MSJ library catalog. And I'm just going to type in maternal health. Okay. So you'll see we have quite a few ebooks on the topic of maternal health. So to use an ebook, we're just going to click on the title and then connect to resource. And here is our ebook. So you can download it as a PDF. You have supplementary resources, all kinds of fun things. So that's how ebooks work. I'm going to scroll down to see if I can find one that's actually in our library. So here we go. So this one is an actual physical book within our library. You'll see its location, its call number, and its availability. If this is something you're interested in, you can hit request. And then one of our librarians or library student workers will pull this book from the stacks and put it on hold for you on our library hold shelf. So that's just using this request feature. Okay, to search the Ohio Link Library Catalog, I'm gonna hit Ohio Link Library Catalog. And again, I'm just gonna do maternal health. And then Ohio Link also has eBooks. Here are all their electronic resources. You click on them the same way we did in the MSJ Library Catalog. Or this one is a physical book. So let's click on that. And you'll see where it's available, the library, its location, its call number, and its availability. So if this is a book you are interested in, you would hit request. Please select your school or institution. So this is also in alpha order. So there's Mount St. Joseph University. Submit. And it's going to prompt you to put in your name and your barcode number. Again, that library ID number. And then hit submit. And you will get an email through your Mount email when the book has arrived and it is placed on the library hold shelf. So that is how Ohio Link works. Okay. The last thing I wanted to show you real quick is our course reserves. So course reserves are when professors put textbooks on reserve at the library. Not all professors do this, not all textbooks are on reserve, but a fair amount are, so it's worth checking out. Most reserves you can check out for three hours at a time in the library. So there are two ways you can search um, a reserve. You can search by your instructor's name or you can search by your course number. So if I hit instructor's name, I'm going to type in Ward for Professor Monica Ward, and there she is. And you'll see this is for Nursing 521, Pharmacology and Medication, that's the title of the course. And here is what is on reserve for that, Mosby's 2020 Nursing Drug Reference. And it'll let you know where it is, reserves. Reserves are on a first come, first serve basis. So you cannot hold a reserve book, you cannot request it. If it's available, you can check it out. If it's not, you'll have to wait until it becomes available again. Again, you can also search by course number. So for example, nurse 521, and there we go. Another shelf we have on the library is just called our nursing reserve shelf. And we have labeled that nursing 000. And this is a list of all of the nursing textbooks we currently have on reserve. So there are quite a few. And it'll show you reserves, its call number, and its availability. Again, most of these you can check out for three hours at a time in the library. Some you can actually check out overnight, especially if we have multiple copies. So again, this is just um, 
a nice resource you can check if you're in a pinch for one of your textbooks. Okay, and that was the library website. It was very nice going over it with you today. Again, my name is Bridget Tumont, and I am more than happy to answer any questions you may have or help you with your research at all. Um, again, here is our library number and our email account if you um, ever want to get a hold of us. So thank you so much for walking through this with me today. Bye.